G'day guys, it's Jessie Holton here, Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com and I am showing you a quick tutorial on the Little Treat Box dies. This actually comes in a bundle with the stamp set. It's at the back of the holiday catalogue, the August to January mini. And I just love it. It's so sweet. I've punched out a whole heap in Whisper White so that we could stamp on them. So you can just use whatever stamps you've got available. I've done one using the little treats. So this has got the flowers. Um, and I actually did the other side as well. <laughs> Two for one. Um, and this one is using the little banner of flags and the birthday wishes for you. So this is um, soft sea spray with Daffodil Delight and this is Soft Sea Spray and Daffodil Delight on the little label and Petal Pink around the edge of the box. So very, very, very cute. Now, if you are coming along to Stamp Camp, you will have two of these in an envelope and you will also have two labels already punched out for you. And you'll also have a much longer piece than this of <laughs> Daffodil Delight ribbon. So you can make up your boxes as you wish using the stamps that you've got available. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This one I have stamped with the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set. And isn't that just beautiful? Now, when you're stamping it, you don't need to worry about these bits too much. You can stamp the middles if you like. But these bits will be folded up inside the box. So, I'll just give you a quick tutorial. Not much is needed to do this little box up. So, you just fold on all the score lines. And then... Fold your little bits inside. They actually slide in to each other. And then if you'd like to use ribbon to hold the box closed, you don't actually need to use any glue at all. Um, you can if you want to put a little bit of glue on the insides of the, of the tag flat bits. Um, or even a, on this bit and then you can put those bits on so that it stays shut like that <clears throat> but if you just wanted to use some ribbon then you can hold it together with ribbon as well so um, also if you are coming along to stamp camp you will have received um, some little treats in your um, <laughs> in your in your envelope. I can hear my son out there getting into something. I'm not sure what mischief he's up to. Um, so a little trick with the Skittles just to get them to fit nicely in the box is fold the top down and then th you can see that's how I fit them in here. And the Fredo of course does fit in much nicer. Like so. And then if you want to do the ribbon, my favourite way is to fold it in half, push that bit through and through on both sides and then pull the ends back through the loop. And then you've got that lovely little topper on it. And that's all you need. If you want to put glue on it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, trim up the ribbon and then stamp your little sentiment to go on top.
thinking of you. It's a very sweet sentiment. It's a um, very sweet sentiment tag bit. I meant to say. I do quite like the little tags that come in this set of dies. It's got some really pretty little bits and I love the scalloped edges that are on the top of the treat box as well. Very cute. So there you go. How adorable is that? Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this quick and easy and cute tutorial. I hope you have fun making up these adorable little treat box dies. And they are just gorgeous. Let me know if you have any questions. This is Jessie Holt and your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia. Signing off. <laughs>